Are your beast men sitting comfortably? Well, get them up, because it's Torox time again. Torox, 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 Torox. My Gavan and Melonine, and well met indeed. I am Arachir Galadirathan, and welcome back to Warhammer 2 as we continue on with Torox. Once again, the wheel of doom grinds and rolls its way over the bones of the Dark Elves as it heads for their final resting place. Sildrator, Iron Spike, the Moonshard, and Arnhem are all that they have left, with the latter soon to fall. The latter latter, uh, that's not how you'd say it, but the pre latter, I suppose, is <laughs> um, also soon to fall to the not Gilgalad, and Sildrator and Iron Spike will be their last resting places. We've got Torox with a fairly substantial army. He's just sieging Arnhem out just long enough so that when we auto... Um, we won't take many losses, which in fact is right now, In actually, now that I've just looked at that. Um, oh, brilliant. So we'll just do that now, then. I mean, we lost 28. Uh, we shall loot and raise. Thank you very kindly. So, ignore that intro, because it's wrong. It's already outdated. Arnhem is no more. Alas, 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 alas. I understand the pains and problems that we've all had with Arnhem, but it falls. Malagor the Dark Omen, however, fell last time in a fairly substantial battle. And so he is retraining an army, and he's going to be three turns. After those three turns are up, he'll have a fairly useless army, though, so it won't be all that great. Someone without a useless army, arguably maybe a little useless, is Kazrak the One-Eye. Kazrak, unfortunately, cannot replenish whilst in Horde stance. But his absolute mm, army of Saigors, it matters not. We have humans to be cutting down. Lupio Weismund will fall to his might, I have no doubt. We have set up a herdstone over here. Uh, oh, which can now get some buildings. I'm assuming you can get buildings as well. Oh, yeah, we could. That'll heal his army as well, won't it? Um, you might as well just build up these things, I suppose. What have you not got? You've not got those centigrades. Oh, and that's where our minotaurs come from. Definitely get that in. Um, you probably could build the other two all together there, can you? You've got everything in that one? No, we don't have the shaman's fire pit. Oh, I'll take the winds of magic. Um, you never know. Might be helpful. All right, so his army's improving. Improving. His army will heal. What's that on? Five turns. Holy hellfire. Uh, well, as you're not actually raiding anything... Going to encamp sounds like cuts a turn off. That'll do. Let's see what the Dark Elves are going to do. In order to actually win this thing, we need to capture the city of Heshwatl, which is the capital city of the nation of the same name. And then we need to fight the final battle. Hello there. Defensive Alliance. And they'll give me a grand for it. Ah, uh, no. We do not make bargains with filthy rat maggots. Do we? Although, to speak it properly in Beastman, I suppose one has to just jumble up the words with random noises. So you, it's as if you're saying the word, but then add, make, replace it with a random noise. So, we do not strike bargains becomes... <laughs> I think I've just spoken flawlessly in Beastman. I mean, I'm not an expert nor a professional, but I would guess that that was flawless in Beastman. Blood of the Empire, leadership and fighting against them, or Bretonia. Well, Bretonia, we don't really bump into very often, so we'll go with the Empire one. Ah, oh, someone's raiding us. Bugger off and kill the bloody Dark Elves. We serve the same ruinous powers. What good is it, serving the same people? Oh, but then I suppose ruinous. Clues in the name, clues in the name. Right, how you did, Lynn? Let's get. Oh, the Moonshard did fall, indeed. So the Dark Elves really are up against it. Now, the only thing that they have that we don't is quality. <laughs> no, the only thing they have that we don't is considerably more troops. So if Torox catches this at the wrong time, yeah, there's a risk he might die. And because I am his commander, and I am noted, of course, for my excellent and really astute command and military tactics and protectors. Um, tactics and prowess uh, there's a very real risk of course that he may well uh, suffer significantly under my rule uh, we can upgrade both of those but don't really want to not but possible. Rickard Hartman has come for you oh Rickard Hartman do you not have a real general now if we hit Gorsal I will not obey, I will not obey. 
If we get Gorsel, then he's getting involved as well. Eben Volkman. I refuse. Oh, Marienburg has so many troops. Marienburg, why do you have so many troops? Hello, Vidamar. Are we not on good terms, you and I, Vidamar? Let's go and hit L Rickard. Sorry, I was going to call him Lupio, but that's the fellow back in the other place. Oh, what is the little circle above my uh, my thingy here? The enemy failed to spot your ambush. Attack now and the element of surprise will give you the upper hand. Oh, yes, please. Rickard. Rickard brings outriders, uh, but not the grenade launching ones. And the grenade launching ones are the only ones that are really worth anything. Demigriff knights, always very useful. We've got to try and bog them down. He's got a couple of them. One that's good against large. Halberdier version. He's got some archers who are generally naff, to be honest. Um, handgunners aren't bad, but you can easily cut them down. Huntsman, a slightly better archer. I'm quite surprised that the game thinks this is going to be close. I really must protest game. Why on earth is this going to be close? Let's give it a good old going over, shall we? Step into my world, Rickard Hartman. Your armies have been caught unawares. Your archers, your gunners, your huntsmen and your cavalry will be cut down long before they are ever able to gain enough momentum to give us a charge of note or indeed a volley worthy of the Empire proper. Also, that is a horrendous position for your troops. They are going to hate that. Do we send the Minotaurs against the Demigriff Knights? That's everyone's question. Anti-infantry. And then the Halbeard one, of course, is anti-large. So one assumes the Halbeard one would deal very well against the Minotaurs. Oh, they're both anti-infantry. They kind of just cancel each other out. Um, and then there's all of the hordes of things. That, why are they walking all the way around the tree like that? It's only like two trees. But then I suppose that's where the road goes, isn't it? Right, it's this lot at the back that I really like to shut down. And then the Cygors can deal with all the melee. Is my thinking. Uh, but Cygors, you have a crazy range. Let's use it to our advantage. There's no point having you standing on top of the buggers. Come and stand in the tree line at the top of the hill. Yeah, you're going to go up there. Right, so, Chaos Spawn, you're going to hit those gunners. You fellows, you're going to hit those archers. I'm going to have... Um... Ungors. Uncle! Ungors, you're going to go there. And Ungors, you're going to go there. And you're both going to go for the monstrous shock cavalry. And just do what you can. I know they're anti-infantry and your infantry, and that's a really poor matchup, but... It is what it is. Do what you can. One giant's going to go there. One giant's going to go there. And you're going to hit those outriders. One minotaur is going to hit those demogriff knights. And another is going to hit that one in the middle. Leaving a third to hit that other outrider. Then we've got our chariots, including our leader. And then our four melee forces can go in the, the trees. Is everybody ready? Pause this battle immediately. All right, so you are going to hit the gunners. You are going to hit the archers. You are going to hit the demigriffs. So are you. You're going to go for that one. 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 And you're going to go for that one. Siege. No, you're not siege. Sorry. Spears and cavalry and all the all the best of you. You're going to just hit them straight in. And then Cygors in a line. We are going to go one, two. Three, four, and five. You two at the back there. Sprint down the hill into those great swords, and you two into those great swords. Which again is probably not a best matchup. It is what it is. Look how close we can get to them. Holy hellfire! Chaos okay, spawn thundering in. The outriders desperate to get away. The demigriffs not liking what they've come up against. Spearmen are pulling back, but the cygors are thundering and thumping into all that mix there. Oh, that was a bit of a wayward one there. That was a, Oh, that was a lovely one, though. I'm sorry, my humans. Stand firm against the tide of destruction and disgrace that stands before you. Oh, I thought the giants might move with a little bit of haste, but apparently not. Very slow-moving buggers. I presume this is basically already over.
There's got a lot of routing. All right, if you're finished, come and get involved. Ah, oh, we're never going to get those outriders. I think we're going to have to rely on everything else to run away. Which I think we can do by... Because the getting the Sargos to target those... Uh, the general's not really the one. You go for them. Let's go and have a look at what's going on over here. Oh, they spoke in English. They've been to school, it would seem. Right, let's pull the Minotaurs out and hit those. Giants have done nothing. Absolutely nothing. Right, Cygors, target the other Outriders because you've killed those ones. Here we are. Volley! Volley! Oh, close, but you missed most of them. A close victory. Do me a flavour, sir. That was a phenomenal victory. Rickard Hartman. Oh, those great swords really did do well. That was. We did not put the good units against them. Had I but known. I, I just in my head for some reason I had giants running at a bit of a speed that was just folly giants are worst unit to match up against the outriders that's where we should have had the other uh, the, the units swapped around the infantry should have gone to the great swords infantry should have gone against should have gone against the outriders and the giants should have hit the great swords oh, we don't want to do a ritual of ruin here yet because I'd really like to take Gorsal down before we do that Ah, oh, well done, Kazrak. Leveling up. I think we should probably start making your army better. Because I don't think you're... As you're a melee unit, I don't think you're all that useful, dare I say. You're all going to scream at me now. Be like, go! How dare you! He's the best thing in the army. And I'm sure he probably is. But historically speaking, I've never been very good with commanders. So making them excellent commanders rather than warriors is usually better. Because then when I forget to, and when I inevitably don't use them, is a better phrasing, uh, it doesn't matter. I really hope the High Elves don't stick their nose in where it's not wanted here. I have dealings with the Dark Elves. I have no interest in the High Elves. Kindly withdraw to your island and ignore the fates of the world as you have done for countless centuries. Hmm. All damage units will be fully replenished. Oh, yes, please. Do we sneak in and hit Sildra Tor and burn it to the ground? Oh, I think we probably should. But then will we lose Torox when those two armies over there rise up against us? Oh, no, it's only one army, but it keeps getting distorted with the blur. The blur effect. This was Marathi. Oh, and that's Malekith. Oh, I think we should, shouldn't we? Oh, Akustia! Go on. Silly though it may well be, Sildator is the real power in this place. A close victory. If we lightning strike, does it do anything? No, because they're all in the settlement. Oh, Malekith, what an absolutely ridiculous army. Are you trying to die? Because this is how you do that. I think we should just go for it. We can call in Cygors to break down the gate, or we can just bust it open with Gorgons. And the army of Dreadspears that meets us on the field is not really one of concern. But the siege upgrade that I got, the, that mod has been nothing but a bane playing as a beastman because we never defend cities and all we ever do is attack them. So a mod that, that is designed to make sieges easier for the defender is just a pain in the neck. A real pain in the neck. I think we'll go... That's a really bright... 
really bright coloured palace, isn't it? Why does Sildra Tor seemingly have a completely unique battle map? It's odd. It's all very peculiar. Right, if you would all come and stand back here. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to get Philip. Philip, uh, using his power and using his own spells, is going to summon some Cygors. They're going to destroy the towers and then hopefully the gate. And then we shall run in minimal losses. We don't really want to take loads of damage from the towers. Or we could just sprint at them all, can't we? Because we can get Minotaurs on the walls. And our army is Minotaurs. Um, and they would just, the Minotaurs are just going to shred those spearmen. It's just not even going to be... It's going to be such a destructive battle. But I don't think we should... Well, then we don't use the Cygors for anything, do we? Let's, let's play this one a touch slower. We've got plenty of time. Wait for that to finish. Boosh. Summon me another one. Bring down those towers for me, please. Stones at the ready. Off we go, boys. 32 seconds. 32 seconds. You've really got to move that close. Come on, just throw your big old stone at it, mate. Nice. They're getting underway. Does it tell you somewhere how long they stick around for? Why are you tired? You've thrown like four stones. Come on. Let's not be silly about this. Oh, the colours changed to fiery. Oh, there we go. One's gone. Go on, throw another stone. Oh. They might be able to throw a stone before he went. Summon me another. They weren't even able to destroy a single tower. And they haven't even captured that tower. Oh dear. Their whole army, in fact, has gone left. Oh, and then they do no damage against the gate. Wow, that is awful. That is just terrible. And they're on their way out anyway. Right, Gorgon army. It's time to go. You're going to get shot at as you walk forwards, but don't worry about it too much. Bring up the jabbers. No, don't bring up the jabbers yet. Bring them to a point. But these gates last for bloody ever. And we just take unnecessary damage. Uh, how are we doing against the gate, champs? We've been there for a little bit. 52%. I think we could probably move the armor. Why did they not shoot at us? <gasps> because we're not in range. Oh, glory be. I'm going to group you all together. But for now, the Jabba slides are on their own. Oh, if you hold the shift, it... Oh, I didn't know it did that. If you hold the space, it shows you the, the range of your enemy archers as well. Right, as soon as that gate falls, they're going to reposition everything and get ready. And then these units, which are all the anti-infantry ones, are just going to burst through and shred everything. There's Malekith flying at the back, thinking he's all big. Malekith, I've killed you about seven times now. I've given up counting because you're so easy to kill. Look at you flopping around on your throne-like thing with your silly mask. Silly. His death is but a stone's throw away. Oh, is that the gate down? Do I see the gate down? Yes, we do. Oh, imagine being in the front line of that. You are soldiers of Gondor. No matter what comes through that gate, you will stand your ground. And then that comes through. Not on your life, sunshine, would I be dealing with that. Howard's in there. Torox is in there. The enemy army comes flooding through, but it's going to be too late. Minotaurs. It's time to put your mark on this world. Hoo, hoo, ah! The Horde 
the horde. Uh, can we clear the gate, please? Please, can we clear the gate? We've got some minotaurs coming through. We could just... There we go. Philip? This enemy needs to learn of the structures and dangers of magic. Kindly school them. Quack, quack, boom. A uh, duck, duck, goose, but with a boom instead. How are we doing so far? <laughs> we have 175 units, and they have 2,000. <laughs> and it'll be they who meets their doom today, I assure you of that. Alrighty, let's go with the next one. Traitor Kin. Should we do it on the wall? Why not? Right, Minotaur Army. Move. Everybody just press up the hill if we can. Let's really push through. Force them to come back. Take the square. Oh, that's not fun being in that Dread Sphere line as all those Minotaurs thunder into you. You can hear the screams. The heads are flying. The limbs. The blood. The blood is everywhere. The main monster killing army is making its way up the slope as we speak. Minotaurs. Oh, one of the Minotaurs has gone outraged. It's the bloody witch elves. Can we kill those off, please? Oh, and Philip, you're not doing very well. What's happened to you, Phil? I put you under the gate so that you couldn't be shot at. How are they shooting straight down? Oh, you're getting massacred, Phil. I forgot we had that ability. But it seems apparently to do anything. But, uh... Oh, Malekith has come down out of the sky. Where is Torox? Oh, he's down there with the Minotaur still. I need some Minotaurs to go onto the walls and stop these archers from shooting at us, please. The rest of you can charge back into those. Malekith will be dealt with with all of those, although he's probably quite good against the Jabba slide. Why not summon another Saigor, I suppose? And heal yourself. Minotaurs, are we on those walls? I shan't ask you again. This is over there, isn't it? As soon as Malekith's dead. And he's on his way. Oh, he's routing. Only a fool would stay. Oh, they had some cavalry. Didn't even notice. <laughs> Repeat a crossbows. Time to go. How casual was that? Time to go. Yes, I think it probably is time to go. I think I'd agree. Let's have a look what's happening on the walls, shall we? Oh, it's a massacre. It's a bloody massacre. In both senses of the word. Oh, sorry, Dark Shards. Oh, sorry, everyone. Are we, are we running away? Have you had enough? There's plenty more. Everyone likes seconds. Go on. Catch a few more of them. It's over. Sildrator falls, and Malekith is once again a single loss. A single loss. One single loss. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Who got the lucky kill? I ask you. Probably none of them, by the looks of it. Absolutely no one got a kill. So did we? Is there was there one kill, and we killed them? It would have been one of the Minotaurs, but... Oh, what to do with Sildur Tor, one wonders. Ah, <laughs> let's loot and raise. 
We came seeking fame and fortune, and we left with a mountain of skulls. Well, Silter Tor has fallen. The moon shard forms part of the grounds within upon which we seek to sack and burn. So let us make our way down to Gilgalion. Blah, 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 blah. Phoenix thrown my backside, sir. You will all burn. All will burn. None will stand before us. Kazrak, me old mucker. Um, would you be so kind as to heal up a touch? You're only going to take a turn to do that, so just run closer to the border again. And just sort of stay there for a second. You can encamp, because unlike our good friend... Torox. Oh, we are on our way to uh, a Cataclysmic Rampage. Ward say 5% for all units. Claim reward. Dread gain 100 income from raising settlements, horde building construction. Battles, solar cups, dark event will trigger next turn. Momentum cost replenish campaign movement range minus one. Hmm, yeah, go on. Run away from misery to happiness to be. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Oh, we're not at war yet. Welcome. Welcome. We won't bother fighting that one, though. Oh, they've got a dragon, but it's just not worth it, is it? It's the Dark Elves with whom we have quarrel. Thank you for your assistance against the Dark Elves. It will be remembered. Your names will be remembered in song and in praise. You shall be remembered most highly. But for now, your people need to die. Kindly roll over and spare me the challenge. Hello there. How are we all doing? I've just made it to the right and to the left. All in the same turn. Didn't expect that, did you? Yeah, off you pop. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Marathi, you're not even going to put up a fight. I should fight it, shouldn't I? But I'd like to start hitting the frogman. Oh, Marathi. Cataclysmic. We've hit the highest rampage level. Cataclysmic. Hero recruit rank for gore bulls. Hero recruit rank for brave shamans. Dread cost for increasing capacity of red. Is that all it does? Oh, that's awful. Let's get the Minotaur one in. Solar Eclipse. Okay, the ritual can now be performed. Which means the Dark Elves. <laughs> the Dark Elves can't recolonize the lands they've just lost. <laughs> Which means. That in order for Uriel and Lilian to survive, they've got to go and attack somewhere else. <laughs> Good day to you, sirs. Be about your business. Now, unfortunately, they were out of momentum. We cannot extend his movement range any further. But the time for the frogman to die has come. The moon crests the skies above us and gives just a glint of light. On the city of Heshwadl, a foretelling of what is to come. Death, destruction, murderous rampage. It's all to come. Build that. Uh, build that, why not? Build them all, build them all. More dread per turn. We have so much dread per turn, let's actually do something with it. Minotaurs, we've got you cheaper for a moment. Yes, all the Minotaurs. We could have got those upgrades. Are any of these actually any use for us? Lords and Heroes recruited rank 5, rank 10, rank 15. Army capacity is up. New Horde armies raised at level 2. And Oh, we should probably go down that line when we can. Oh, we've already done two of that. Oh, yeah, no, we've basically done everything we'd want done. In items, we spend real money to get items, which is disappointing. Banners, banners, banners. Distorted reality. Oh, round self, constant. Melee attack weapon strength, that's not bad, is it? The Felax of Drachvald. Alright, let us see what the humans intend to do. 
and how they seek to ensure their time is not up yet. I love the humans. I really dis dis I'm just so sad to see that we're killing them so easily. Give me command of my golden boys. Balthazar Gelt! I've never played as Balthazar Gelt, I have to confess. I don't share the you community's love of Balthazar Gelt, and heretical though that may be, I have never really used him, I've never really felt the benefits of him, and I've never really swam in money like people do. If you are, if you've watched this far, please lay out before me exactly what one must do in order to make Balthazar Gelt the money-making man that he can become. Because I just do not know. Right, we've got a lot of Cygors. Which one improves them? Defense Minotaurs. Which one we get for that as well? Oh, there we go. Ammunition. Oh, ammunition. Is that it? Does it tell me somewhere what the tier 2s and 3s do? Oh, yeah. I right click on that and it tells you. Ammunition speed and reload time reduction. Ah, yes. Let's go down that one then. We're doing all that just to improve the Centaurs. But then we do have five of them. Some might say that's overkill. And I understand that concern. But for me... It's just glorious artillery. Shatter the sky! Where's our fire support? Right, that is the last army of the Dark Elves, because it would seem that Lolilian has died in the nothingness beyond Iron Spike. We shall come and make ourselves known. Oh, Heshwaddle's right there. Oh, we're so close. We are so close. Malagor, come and get involved, friend. I've performed the ritual, haven't I? Yeah, everywhere we've been up here has performed the ritual. What are we up to? We're almost at 320. Oh, it tells me somewhere in my... No, not that one. Not that one. Hold on. This one. Doesn't tell me in here somewhere. Record statistics. No. Not by the looks of it. And again, I feel like I'm just being done with this. We're very, very close to the 320 mark. So, um, let's plough past Fallen Gate, go straight for Heshwatl, turn that into a, a ground. Oh, Heshwatl, you're being killed by the humans. You're not going to put up a fight at all, are you? It's going to be pathetic. Oh, and hang on, are we allies? No, there we go. Yeah, let's start raiding them. Get that, get that raid money coming in. How are we doing, Kazrak? What, what are you up to? Um, you're cowering in fear because these armies in Marienburg, or Gorsel, sorry, no. will probably beat us. No! Let's try and lure them out. Let's go and raid them. Come on! Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. Oh, how many generals do you need? Bernhard Alderidge, Dolph Volkman, and Emil von Corden. With Elgar... Oh, the family of von von Volkvan. Elgar van von Volkvan. Give me a V. <laughs> We're going to be here a while. Give me an O. <laughs> Can you imagine how cool it would be if your name was van von Volkvan? The only problem with that, though, is whilst that sounds cool, imagine answering the phone and saying, was his name Elgard? Or was it Helmet? Anyway, he answers the phone. Elgard van von Volkvan. <laughs> but then, you have to give your name, and every single time you'd have to spell it. V-O-N, V-O-N. <laughs> oh, I just really like his name. It's silly though it is, I think it's such a good name. Oh, the enemy has made a critical mistake and the time for our attack has come. Not possible. Lupio Weismund is moving on Arnau. You're not going to take it, Lupio. Over my rotting carcass, sir. Uh. Over my rotting carcass. Well, we've arrived at the border with the frogmen. And it's not going well for the frogmen. They have no allies and they have hardly any towns. And it's just silly how unprotected it is. But we've not yet fought against the lizards, so let's meet them in battle, shall we? Let's see how their spindly and acrobatic forms twist and turn under the weight of a minotaur's heavy axe. Crack them open. What are these things here with the uh, bones on their heads? Not seen those before. 
I'm not particularly familiar with the Lizardmen. I've played as the Hunt Marshal's expedition a couple of times and fought against their lower tiers, and I'm familiar with the lower tiers, the skinks and such. But beyond that, much is unknown to me. Much is unknown to me. Now, we're going to go with a similar plan, but this time we'll just try and destroy these two towers. And the union of the two towers. And then you four are going to rush the gate. They're going to go with you. It'll be it all over in a heartbeat. In fact, let's just group you all together as one big group. Nice. Bill, stand by. Oh, no. It's gone badly straight away. We're in range. We're in range. Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Holy hell fire. What kind of a range is that, I ask you? Oh, wow. We are up against a real top-tier town here. Don't worry with the gate. We can do with the gate. All right, we're just going to have to rush it, aren't we? Those aren't going to do anything. Those towers are going to just... 6% and they're basically destroyed. Can I... Oh, no, that doesn't do anything. What happens if we do that there? Oh, nice. Actually broke through the wall. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Feral Stegodons. Oh, cool. You actually fight with dinosaurs. I don't know why I'm saying that. I know that they get dinosaurs. Everyone knows they get dinosaurs. They're lizardmen crying out there. Right, let's pause it while we set all these people up then. Because we've got a bloody lot of them. Right, let's take the walls just one minute or at a time. Whatever you encounter on top of those walls, you are to crush. Ah, and the rest of you can just run through that gap. Go for it. I'm not sure there's much use for you out here, Phil. Why do their towers do so much damage to us? What is this carnage? So here we go, guys. Come on. You don't need to orderly queue it. We're not waiting in line for a sandwich. Let's get going. Oh, wow. That Stegodon's not doing well. That Stegodon has not done well at all. Oh, what are these? What are these? Croxigors. I am familiar. Oh, wow. Whatever's happening over here, it's not going well. Oh, did we just lose a Minotaur unit that I just see there? The line just shortened. Oh no, was it the Saigor dying? I think it was the Saigor dying. Panic over, panic over, panic over. No, I could break the wall in another place. I don't really need to though, do we? No. Right, if you've captured your sections of the wall, then get off it. Temple guards we are up against. Oh, they're the fellas with the bones on their heads. How goes the fight behind the walls? Yeah, not too bad. Philip, let's get you up. Just get a cohort with the javelins. Bring them down. Oh, who's that fellow? Croxagor Ancient. Oh, the Jabba Slife's made it through. Those big teeth oh, thundering into our enemies. The gates have fallen. This whole place will fall. Oh, but that tower's not been claimed yet. Come on, guys. Oh, am I just going to. Did I just accidentally. Am I going to kill my own Minotaurs there? No, we're all right. We're all right, we're all right, don't worry. Can we vile tides? There isn't really anything left, is there? Do whatever that is on him. What did I just do? Mantle of Gordok. This is over, isn't it? Oh yeah, it is over. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, that was a brief introduction to the Lizardmen. Um, if you have a quick look around the battlefield after that battle, you can still see the corpses of the various lizards you might be interested in. But for the most part, they are all deceased. Torok's got 16. Jabba Slyth at 57, looking like the top slot. Ooh, 2 in 57. I can't see anything higher. No, I think that's it. 257s taking the very top spot. They did get a few kills. 25 losses we had, yeah. That was more than I've ever seen when we've commanded. Apart from when we've actually lost, of course. Peshwatl. And the Great Divide. Shamanic. And the winds of malady. Spread far, spread wide. Oh, we get a nice 12 if we take down uh, Maku Peaks. Swamp Town, Port Reva. With the fall of Heshwatl. Our enemy cowers in fear. Right, let's just get the Dark Elves killed off, please. None lost. Is that the end of the Dark Elves? No, not yet. Lolilian still exists somewhere in the mist. Alright. You haven't got Enfeebling Foe. We could do that. Mantle of Doom and Darkness. Greater Arcane Conduit. Constant around self. Making you better. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah. We already we knew we, we took him down the defensive line, didn't we? Um, yeah, I think he's kind of getting there. Enemy Leadership. Winds of Magic. More harpies. Public order. Winds of magic. Oh, cost for all spells. That's not bad. Mantle of crows. Let's go for that. We don't need him to be a good leader. He can just be a good warrior. Unlike Kazrak. Right, you're going to have to stay there for a turn. Because I can't move you. Whiff, whiff. Ah, but before we do that, Kazrak, old bean. I think the enemy's time has come. Gorselm will fall. Burn it down. Pyrrhic victory. Ah, our enemy comes with Hellstorm rocket batteries. Fight it. Fight it. End it. Emil von Corden. Why is that going to be... Oh, because of the reinforcements. Oh, I didn't look at the reinforcements. They might actually have things that are useful. But uh, Emil von Corden's army, not going to have very many things that are useful. It will fall very easily. Oh, and they've got a horrible little place to set up there, haven't they? Absolutely disgusting. Oh, well. Tell me and I shall ease your passing. Right, we're going to just run at them, really. <laughs> well, I mean, that's every beastman plan, isn't it? Uh, what should we do? Should we just run at them? Yeah, let's just run at them. Oh, all those can start out there as well. Yeah, just shut them down quickly and professionally. Oh, they can start out there as well. We all can. Only the chaos spawn, and they're useless anyway. Ah, the rest of the army, of course, is here. But we'll be able to stop the uh, rocket batteries from doing anything too nefarious. Giants are going to have to come up slow and lumbering around the back, I'm afraid. Sprint everyone forward. Where are the Hellstorm rocket batteries? Oh, the back there. Against the halberdiers isn't really the best thing for them, actually. No, oh, who is that? Is that Emil? Mm, welcome. Welcome to the fight, sir. Welcome to the fight. Get in there and help your Minotaur comrades.
Hmm. I can deplete their ammunition. No, I want you to target those outriders. Give us a real volley from uh, from all the way over there. Oh, the Minotaurs are running. Oh, bugger. Past. Giants, come and get involved. We need to make sure that we shut down the Hellstorm batteries. They're dealing with those quite nicely. Kazar doesn't really do anything for the army, does he? He can make himself very, very strong. And he can restore his own hit points. Minotaur's going to get involved with those. Oh, look at all those stones. Ooh, you don't like to see that as a crossbowman, do you? You do not like to see that. Oh, wow, that giant's throwing up on them. Oh, that is a phenomenal sortie. Salvo from on high. There's some spearmen over here. Don't worry if you hit the giant. He's expendable. Let's watch from our troops' point of view as Stone to the Cygors come out and whistling in. Come on, guys, do what you're told. No, they're not having any of it. Here we go. Here we go. You're just a casual outrider. You've got your cool, pistol-y weapon thing. And then out of nowhere, half of your company dies. <laughs> Oh, I do like artillery. It's the halberdiers that give us grief. Boost yourself, Kazrak. Get in amongst them. And can we kill these spearmen, please? Ah, oh, it's over. Yeah. We lost a few, but sheer determination saves the day. Minotaur shouldn't have run that far ahead of the others, though, really, should they? But it doesn't matter. We won. We replenished it about a turn wherever we are. 174 kills, one of the Minotaurs. That's fantastic. Cygors are doing all right, though. 83, that's nice. In Oh, no, there's a 97 from the the chariots. Oh, and 78, Kazrak himself. He did well. Somehow, don't ask me how, the Hellstorm rocket battery managed to kill six things. But I think, now that I um, have said that out loud, I think that might have been them just in melee. Right, where does the ground here. It doesn't extend down to Marienberg. So the Black Pit's the other one, and we really don't want to risk the ire of the undead. We'll be fighting them forever in a day. So I think I might perform the ritual now. Particularly because we might also lose our now. Right, reinforce yourself. Four turns. God, your army's rubbish. Let's get the better Minotaurs. Make sure we can get those. And I think we should probably invest in some Centigors. Make you a bit more of a mobile hitting force. Dorox. Right, that pushes us over the edge there. So we're in Ruination level 7 now. We've just gone past 320. We need to get to 500. That's a lot of towns we need to burn. Unlocks rewards of Dread Army capacity upgrade. Herdstone shards gain. We can get 6 herdstones. And the building cost for all of our buildings has just been reduced to 25% up from 15%. I'll be given an end turn. And then I think that will then end the episode. Oh, Ikiklor, I'm not interested, mate. How many times have I told you? I don't want this nonsense. I explained in Flawless Beastman at the outset of the episode that I do not want to be your ally. So kindly leave me alone. Bugger off into the mists or whatever it is you do with your time. That's Guild Wars, that's not Warhammer. <laughs> Confusing the franchises. One day at a time. Arakir Galadirathan.
Well, although to pronounce the name properly, it would be Arachir, and then it is Galudirithon. But to say it, like, to try and say it properly with the accent, it's the same thing when you speak any other language, isn't it? I mean, you've, Italian's the one I always use because it's the only one that I know other words from. But, like, an English an English English person saying buongiorno would say exactly how I've just said it. They'd say, oh, buongiorno. They'd say it in English. And I always, you never really know if you should try and say it how it should be pronounced. And obviously I can't say it like a flawless Italian because I'm not Italian. But the closest you can get is buongiorno, which is far more Italian sounding. You put all the, you put the flair into it, shall we say. And it's, I think the similar thing would be is if a, someone was trying to speak English when it wasn't their native language and tried to make it sound posher than it is. Um, it's a similar sort of thing, whereas they'd say it in their language. Um... And you get the same thing with any language, and Sindarin's the same. So I say at the start of the episode, I'm Arakia Galadirathan, which is a very English way of saying Arakia Galadirathan. Whereas really, as I say, it should be Arakir Galadirathan. Uh, but I don't say it like that every time because it takes so much more effort because I'm not a native speaker. But I think you can all forgive me. Right, let's keep the Saigors going. They've now got... Dun -dun -dun -dun, reload time reduction, speed boost, and even more ammunition. And centicles with throwing axes get the same benefit as well. Oh, and the enemy didn't attack us. That's bizarre. I probably should have attacked them, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, Laurelon Forest has been burnt to the ground. By the raiders of the north. We came all this way to put some more wood elves into the earth that they so desperately craved to be reunited with. And the buggers are dead. Disgraceful. Well, let's knock out Fallen Gates. Um, oh, I shouldn't have done this. Oh, what are you doing? No, Malagor could have dealt with this. Oh, that was nonsense. Yeah, Malagor could have done that. That was silly. That was very silly, Torox. I should have sent you to Port Reva. Oh, dear. Malagor could have got that on the next turn. No troubles, no problems. No questions asked. Um, where are the Dark Elves, by the way? Why have they not died yet? Oh, has a message popped up that they have died and I've just not seen it? Hmm. No. No, it's all still reveled north of us. And all, um, almost everywhere up here is locked by rituals. So I don't, can't imagine they'd do anything successful up there. But we need to burn everything down here. We need to attack it all. And we need to get the absolute most out of Heshwattle that we can, which means all of these around it. Yeah, that would be excellent. 24, 36 more points onto it. That's a good... That's a solid sum. Yeah. So I'll tell you what, you go south and hit Maku Peaks. No, 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 no. Take Port Reaver out first because no one owns Port Reaver. Or, well, <laughs> they do. <laughs> Heshwattle own Port Reaver, of course. But I mean by that is Heshwattle don't seem to own anything else. So there's we want to get them out first. And then we'll move on um, taking out Skeggy and then Swamp Town then and then hit the Hunts Marshals. Because I believe, or I would imagine, the Hunt's Marshal is probably has probably got a little bit more behind the scenes that we don't really want to deal with. But what I think I am going to do is end the episode there. I have thoroughly enjoyed this episode. We are really closing in on victory now, and we will definitely have this finished, I should imagine, in November. Uh, ideally, I'd like to return to doing these twice a week, um, but I just don't think it's going to be possible because I'm slightly lazy and I don't really want to have to try and hold down the main job and YouTube. There you go, I said job again. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry. But um, I'm definitely going to keep them going after this brief hiatus. But as I just said in the DAC video, well, I recorded these on the same day, but they went up on different days. As I just said in the DAC video, there's no videos next week at all because I'm on holiday. I'm, I'm, I'm going away from home. So there won't be any videos at all. So we'll have a minimum of a week off. And then when we come back, I think I've now got... I've, I've now made a plan of when I'm going to record. And I'm and that will give me a good basis to move forward on. But we've captured Heshwattle, which is our victory condition. All we need to do now is win the fall of man. And to get that, we have to get to, four, uh, to 500 marks of ruination. And we are probably on about 321 or 2. So we've got about 180 points to get, which is about three full ritual grounds, actually, because each a full ritual ground is just shy of 50. So it, it's it's sort of three full ones and then a minor ritual. So we only need four more main settlements and then burn everything around them. And I think we get a lot of that from Lustria. 
and we'll see what more um, Kazrak can do over in the east. But I think we're going to get the bulk of it from Lustria once we get through the southern jungles of Pahualasha. Pahualasha. But for now, I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. I have, and I hope you'll have a wonderful week next week, and you've had a nice day. And until we speak again, Nevair Neden Pedimad Melonin, and farewell. Ooh, ooh, ah!